Staphylococcus suit intermedius, Staph for short, is a gram-positive cocci bacteria that causes Staph infections. Staph is a significant member of the normal flora in most cats and dogs, normally found on the skin and mucous membranes as they like moist areas. They are also found in the environment due to contamination, hence Staph can be indirectly transmitted via fomites or directly transmitted by contact. However, large numbers of staph can be found in areas with damaged or altered skin and mucosal barriers. Staph infections are more prevalent in dogs than cats, and arises due to some form of host compromise. Predisposing host factors determine the likelihood of disease and its severity. These include hypersensitivities, ectoparasites, endocrinopathies, conification abnormalities, medical procedures, or immunosuppressive disorders. This adhesins recognize and bind to host extracellular matrix. Staph can then create disease due to three factors. Staph can avoid phagocytosis because it can produce a gelatinous biofilm and has a surface protein that prevents opsonization by inhibiting complement activation. It also produces exotoxins. Hemolysins cause hemolysis of erythrocytes, leukotoxins that are leukotoxic to polymorphonuclear white blood cells which helps evade the immune system, and exfoliative toxins that cause exfoliation, damaging skin integrity which plays an important role in canine pyoderma. Staph also survives even after phagocytosis, evading the immune system and antibiotics, resulting in persistence of infection in some cases. Staph causes pyoderma mainly, but can also cause otitis externa and infections to the respiratory tract, urinary tract, and reproductive tract. Common lesions associated with pyoderma include erythematous papules and on pastules that may or may not be clustered, epidermal collarettes, and alopecia. Extensive alopecic areas may also give the coat a moth eaten appearance in some short coated breeds. Pyoderma is often diagnosed according to patient history and clinical signs such as the presence of characteristic lesions. Skin cytology is also useful in confirming the presence of cocci bacteria and inflammatory cells, predominantly neutrophils. Impression smears can be performed to sample a pastille or papule. For sticky tape preparation are more appropriate for dry lesions or tricky sampling sites such as the interdigital spaces. Other sampling methods such as fine needle aspiration or a zinc smear can also be performed on fresh intact pastilles. Additionally, bacterial culture and susceptibility testing is also recommended for new emerging lesions or recurrent lesions not resolving after initiation of systemic antimicrobial therapy. Due to the increasing incidence of antibiotic resistance, this test will provide valuable information for the selection of an appropriate systemic antibiotic to target the infection. The is typically treated with a combination of topical and systemic antibiotic therapy for at least 3 to 4 weeks. However, severe cases may require prolonged therapy. Topical treatment includes shampoos containing antiseptics such as chloxidine or benzoyl peroxide. For common antibiotics include amoxicillin, cephalexin, and clindamycin. It is also important to note that any underlying causes of staph infections must also be identified and addressed. Abscesses should also be drained prior to treatment for antibiotics to work effectively.